Good morning from Oslo. <laughs> Today is the marathon day uh, for us. It's gonna be uh, beautiful, hopefully. It just seems like, you know, get a blue sky and then it's not super cold at least. I'm gonna switch to GoPro later on. Now we just try to find coffee and a little bit breakfast before the race. So the bib number is way too big. So I have to fold it and then just to make sure it's not gonna be in the way when you're running. That is his idea. <laughs> I even don't know how this works. Back to Narvasen. This is kind of like our to-go place for breakfast, for a little convenience, uh, drink and food, and coffee, and some of these fresh pastries for 25 kroner. Not a bad price. I get the chocolate croissant. I'm pretty impressed. This is actually pretty good. What's that? That's my Kickstarter. Akaibo. Acaibo. Acai. Acai. A baguette and a tea. And then I'm ready for the run. Just enjoying our coffee and breakfast tea. and tea before our race. All right, switching to GoPro, see whether this is gonna work out. So we just left our hotel to uh, walk 13 minutes to the uh, red, 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 red Huset. And that's where the starting line. We get starting line. We are here. Uh, it's a bit. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but excited and just ready to go. We're starting in like two minutes. <laughs> Back at the Bogland Park. Oh, thank you. Just keeps you hydrated. Red Bull. No, just kidding. This is just water. Oh, actually, they do have Red Bull, but I just get the water next time. Highlighting some of the uh, Oslo landmarks. And this is one of them. This is the Vigeland Park. That's why I run the Oslo Marathon. Just for that. <laughs> the houses here are so beautiful. Of course, this is close to Vigeland Park, which is the uh, main park in Oslo. Of course, they can afford whatever. <laughs> Is it the Red Bull? Red Bull. Nice, nice, thank you. They have Red Bull, that's just crazy. <laughs> I guess it's energy drink, technically. Yeah, it's definitely Red Bull. <laughs> a quarter of the distance, but that's always getting closer to the finish line. <laughs> so we just passed a water station and I thought it was water, but it's some kind of like a coffee mix. It's interesting. <laughs> I've never run a marathon and just random drinks thrown at you. So Red Bull, energy drinks, coffee, and of course water. That's the least important thing. Hey, hey, hey. 
think we're crazy. <laughs> we're doing running a full marathon for. Water? Yes, thank you. Cougar. That was pretty chilly. That was such a brutal kill. That's crazy. Oh, it's going downhill. Red Bull. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. At first, I thought it was kind of funny to have a Red Bull in Marathon but actually, since I like Red Bull, it tastes pretty good It doesn't really affect me whatsoever, but it tastes good Such a pretty Marathon So that's our leader, that's probably going to be the winner of the Oslo Marathon And I'm not even halfway there yet <laughs> TK Water <laughs> I just passed the half point of my marathon The Oslo Full Marathon is running two of the half marathons So now I already got the preview what's coming up next in the second half and I'm just gonna finish it <laughs> Okay, so I got about 17 more k's to go. I need water here pretty soon. Water, thank you. At times, the Oslo Marathon is really sparse. Uh, a lot of times you just kind of run by yourself, simply because the full marathon is only 3,000 runners. The majority of runners here are actually doing the half. But the total runners today is 18,000 runners and we're approaching the uh, Vigeland Park again <laughs> past kilometer 28 sorta in the back <laughs> just keep going and the cool thing about the sun is that they're never really right above us because this is way up in the north so it's always sorta like kind of going in the horizon so that's why you know even though this is around what noon one o'clock it still kind of feels like in the morning <laughs> <Pretty cool. laughs> 
Just get a dose of banana, Red Bull, and water. Just keep me going. Time for some energy boost. So, birthday cake, happy birthday! It tastes funny. Oh well. Alright, it's a bit cramp up here. Cramping. It's pretty painful. Just past K32. That means uh, that is the 20 mile mark, and we got six more miles to go. Enough warming up, and now the uh, 10k race starting right now. Some motivation. In this station, they actually serve cold coffee mixed with. Coca-Cola. It's bizarre, but it tastes not too bad, actually. So... Mm -hmm. Tastes exactly what it is. Coca-Cola and coffee mixed together. We just passed uh, kilometers 33. And the goal is just to keep going and keep vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a beautiful day here in Asa Promenade and of course I would rather be sitting down instead of finishing up the Asa Marathon <laughs> like everybody says pain is temporary but glory is eternal so I'm just gonna finish strong <laughs> Okay, water station. I really need a few uh, Red Bulls. Water? Thank you. Banana? Thank you. It's good for you. big cruise ship I don't know how many people can be transported there but I'm sure it's like thousands and thousands of people Woo! 35k I just never learned from my experience. Running a marathon is not an easy task. My life goal is to run seven marathons on seven continents. In 2019, we're gonna run the Antarctica Marathon. I think we're between K36 to 37. That means we have about six more Ks to go. I think at this point, we are pretty exhausted. <laughs> People are still trying to finish strong. Just can't wait to cross the finish line. The Norwegian military is also pretty prominent here. People do respect and honor their military. In this Oslo Marathon, there's a few of them running in full gear. It's definitely hard enough to run just regular runners, but you have like boots and camo. It's not easy. Respect. Great job, Norwegian military. You're doing a great job. This is not exaggerating. This is a very hilly area. Whew. Three more Ks to go. And we'll be done. I 
think that's the leader for the half marathon uh, which actually started much much later than the full marathon interesting oh rubber mat it's a treat for my feet I'm out of juice and have to pee it's maybe about two more k's to go but I'm gonna finish it for sure I think except when I just pass out right now Gongfeld by the Barn Phone Cruset. Speak Norwegian. They just ran the half. <laughs> well, but they're winning. I've seen this thing four times now. Six hundred meters to finish. If you like this video, please don't forget to give the like button. And it'd be great if you can subscribe to our channel. If you want to keep up with our newly posted video, just hit the notification button. So, poo poo line. Sorry. The houses here are so beautiful. Of course, this is one of the uh, major parks in North. In our, of course, this is close to the. Uh, I belong West Virginia. I'll do my mind. Take me home. Country roads. <laughs> <laughs>